One of the more common and actually one of the more cool cabinets that Conestoga offers is the refrigerator tall cabinets. If you went to a stock box, Lowe's, Home Depot, and you buy a refrigerator cabinet, they're going to sell you a deep wall cabinet surrounded by two panels, either three quarter thick or an inch and a half with a return panel, um, refrigerator end panels, and you would basically sandwich that upper cabinet between. If that was the case, it's an easy calculation because if you're doing a 36 inch refrigerator, you're going to do a 36 inch cabinet with your side panels. Conestoga offers it with the side panels already integrated into the cabinet box. You'll notice there's no seam where these are slapped onto the cabinet. This is like a big upside down U shape. Uh, they offer it as the RTB, which means panels on both sides, that's where the B comes in. Uh, the RTL, which would be the cabinet with the left side, or the RTR, which is the cabinet with the right side, shaped like a flag. You want to pick the right one for your application. In this case, we're visible on both sides, so we wanted to have the RTB. Now, uh, the main point of this video is to let you know the absolute, utmost importance of sizing this cabinet correctly. It's the number one error we see customers make when they're submitting quotes, and that is they logically assume I'm doing a 36-inch refrigerator, therefore I'll order, order a 36-inch RTB cabinet. What they're failing to realize is the dimension for 36 inches is that. It's the full width, including the side panel, so their opening is now 33 inches. So whatever you're doing for a refrigerator, you need to add uh, the side panels into your equation. So let's talk through as if you're ordering a 36 inch, which is the most standard fridge now, is a 36. Uh, if you're going to do that, you want to order the RTB39. If you did an RTL39 or RTR39, it's going to leave you with a 37 and a half inch space because the distance from here to the outside of the cabin is now 37. Uh, and a half inches, which may be more than you want. So you can always do a custom RTL or RTR cabinet where if you did a 37 and a half inch RTL or RTR, it results in a 36 inch space, which is what you want. So it, again, it's not confusing from a standpoint of this being hard. It's just something that's a mental check you have to do that says whatever my refrigerator is, it has to fit in with the inclusion of these side panels in my equation. The upper boxes are always needing to be sized with whatever the height of the refrigerator is. A standard 36 inch fridge these days, the top of the fridge box is usually around 69 or 70 inches. Sometimes there's some hinges that stick up a little higher, you want to make sure you calculate those in. And you want to give yourself enough space that the entire refrigerator, including the hinges, will clear. If you're doing full overlay doors and you size it for the case height and your hinge is sticking up, and you open that door, your hinge is going to whack, or your door is going to whack into your refrigerator hinge, which is sticking up above the bottom of the front frame. So this gap, uh, this opening, has to be the full height of the fridge, including hinges. So again, we can size that custom for you. We can do depths all the way out to 30 inches with these boxes. So if you want to cover the side of a standard depth fridge where normally it's unfinished, that panel in this case is coming all the way out to the back of the doors. So it looks like a built-in refrigerator, even though it's not. So it's a very useful cabinet, one you're going to want to include in your repertoire. It's a whole lot nicer looking than either a cabinet with sandwich side panels or just a shallow box with the sides of the refrigerator showing, but you've got to size it right. And we're happy to talk that through with you. Feel free to send us your appliance spec. We can guide you on that. Our phone number is 888-211-6482.